Hi, 안녕하세요. 선현우입니다. I'm Hyunwoo from TalkToMeInKorean.com. So in English, you have sounds like um and phrases like you know and like stuff like that that you use to kind of fill the gaps, right? In Korean, what expressions can you use to buy some time? Let's find out. Unlike many of the English filler expressions that you use all the time, these Korean expressions actually do have certain meanings. So be careful when you use them. You can't just put one of these expressions just in the middle of any sentence without changing the sentence's meaning. So be careful. But these are phrases people say out of habit uh, with meaning, but without that much meaning, if you know what I mean. So the first one is the kind of an equivalent for um in English, and that is um. Um, so people write it as um, and people pronounce it more like um, without actually pronouncing or enunciating um, you know, they just go um. So, for example, 오늘 무슨 요일이에요? 오늘이 음, 수요일이요. So whenever you want to think, whenever you want to have more time to think about your answer, you can say um, like that. And the next one is 그러니까. 그러니까 in itself originally means so or therefore. So when you want to say today is Monday, 그러니까 let's do this. This happened, so 그러니까 let's do that. But in many cases, 그러니까 is also um, similar to the English expression so. Uh, it is used when at the beginning of a story or when you want to start talking about something. 그러니까. So as an answer, you can maybe give so what happened is or what happened was and so on. Here's an example. 왜 제돈 안 갚아요? 그러니까 갚을 건데 한 달만 더 기다려 주세요. And after 그러니까 people often add 그게. So again, these are filler expressions. Um, you don't really give any information within these expressions, you still haven't given any answer, but you're buying time. So the next one is 그러니까 plus 그게. 그게 is short for 그것 plus 이, 그것이. So 그러니까, so 그것이, that is. So altogether, 그러니까 그게, or more naturally pronounced. 그러니까 그게, it means so. The thing is, so what happened was, so again, you are starting your storytelling and you haven't given any information, you're just stalling, okay? Here's an example. 감기는 왜 걸리는 거예요? 그러니까 그게 몸의 면역력이 약해지면 걸리는 거예요. And then here's another good one. 뭐랄까, 뭐랄까, 뭐랄까 is short for 뭐라고 할까. So although 뭐랄까 or 뭐라고 할까 is in 반말 form, casual language form, you're not asking the other person, you're actually asking yourself. So it's a you know, self-talk, talking to yourself, 뭐랄까, thinking out loud. So 뭐라고 할까, what should I say, what shall I say is the original literal translation, but 뭐랄까, what it means is, um, how should I put it? So it's more like, hmm, so, well, stuff like that. So here's an example. 어제 어땠어요? 음, 뭐랄까, 신기한 경험이었어요. The next one is when you want to give your opinion or thought on something, you can say 제 생각에는. 제 생각에는. So this can work as a filler expression. You can start a sentence and mid-sentence you can say, hmm, 제 생각에는, and then 뭐랄까, 그러니까. Again, you haven't given any meaningful information. You're stalling, you're buying some time. These are filler expressions that are useful. 그건 제 생각에는 이렇게 하면 좋을 것 같아요. All right, I have three more expressions that are super fun and useful. And the next one is 그게 말이죠. Again, 그게 말이죠. More naturally pronounced. 그게 말이죠. 그게 말이죠. This is in 존댓말. And if you want to say it in 반말, you can say 그게 말이야 or 그게 말이지. And 그게 is again short for 그것이. And 말 is language, word, or speaking. So 그게 말이죠. It means um, so that or about that or 
mm, you know. <laughs> so whenever you're stalling, buying some time, you can use this expression, 그게 말이죠. Uh, this is more commonly associated with something negative, um, I, I guess, 그게 말이죠. You know, the video that we filmed together, I accidentally deleted all the files. 그게 말이죠, 파일이, etc. Here's another example. 어제 도대체 어떻게 된 거예요? 그게 말이죠. 제가 전화를 하려고 했는데. And the next expression is similar to 그게 말이죠. And it is 그게 있잖아요. 있잖아 in 반말 or 있잖아요 in 존댓말 formal language is literally translated to you know that thing is there. You know there is that. But um, more naturally it's you know or um, I'm going to talk about something. And 그게 있잖아요 together means about that thing, about that thing that you just asked me about, I'm going to give you an answer. 그게 있잖아요 usually associated some negative answers. Similarly to 그게 말이죠. Here's an example. 어제 도대체 어디 갔었어요? 그게 있잖아요. 제가 어제 급한 일이 생겨서. And the last one is the longest. 그러니까 어떻게 된 거냐면요. 그러니까 어떻게 된 거냐면요. So somebody can ask you what happened and you can just straight up give the answer or answer the question, but you can put, you can add this expression between the question and your answer. 그러니까 어떻게 된 거냐면요. 그러니까 is so, 어떻게 is how, and 되다 is to become or to happen. 된 거, the thing that happened or the fact that it happened this way. 된 거냐면요, 된 거냐고, 물으면요 is the original form. But altogether, all the details aside, 그러니까 어떻게 된 거냐면요. Again, 그러니까 어떻게 된 거냐면요. So what happened was, or how it happened was, the thing is, okay? So it's a stalling, buying time expression. 이게 왜 여기 있어요? 그러니까 어떻게 된 거냐면요. 음 is re really easy and maybe 그러니까 is relatively easy too. But when you say 그러니까 그게 really quickly or naturally or what, what else was there? 뭐랄까? How should I put it? Or the last one 그러니까 어떻게 된 거냐면요. If you can say these things quickly and naturally, your Korean will sound that much more fluent and natural. So I strongly recommend that everybody practice using these expressions and actually start implementing them in their daily phrases so that you can sound more natural. So that's it. If you want to learn more Korean, please visit talktomeinkorean.com and we'll be back next time with another video lesson that is very useful, I hope. And I will see you next time. 감사합니다. Oh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so that you will be notified of the next video we post. 감사합니다. Bye bye. 어제 도대체 어디 갔었어요? 그게 말이죠. 그게, 그게 어제 도대체 어디 갔었어요? 그게 말이죠. 어제 도대체 어디 갔었어요? 그게 말이죠. 어제 도대체 어디 갔었어요? 그게 말이죠. 그게 <웃음> 어, 왜, 왜 이러지? 왜 이러지? 그게 있잖아요. 그게 있잖아요. <웃음> 와 재밌다. <웃음>